Hello geographers and welcome to another geography tutorial video. So in this video I'm looking at what we call coordinates. So I will be looking at how to or the basics on how to find your coordinates using your topographic maps. So on your maps you will always have these numbers which are located either on the left or on the right hand side of your of your map as we see here we have 28 degrees 4 minutes and this is representing the line of latitude this line of latitude over here and in the 24 degrees 15 minutes is this line of longitude over over here you also need to note that these numbers over here to 2804 minutes for latitude and 24 degrees 15 minutes for longitude they represent the square grid this square grid over over there meaning for the next grid which is um which starts over here you still have 28 degrees 04 minutes for your latitude but for your longitude it will be 24 degrees 51 minutes meaning as you go um, to your right your longitude increases um, by minutes meaning this will be 51 this will be 52 and this will be 53 onwards whereas on your latitude this will be 28 degrees for this line and this here it's 28 degrees 5 minutes um, 6 minutes and so on so I'm going to use this example over here to help us find our coordinates for A and B. As you can see, our reference coordinates are still the same from the map, meaning I've just zoomed these two blocks over, over here. So the basics behind finding your coordinates are the general basics of geography that one degree is equals to one or rather 60 minutes and one minute is equals to 60 seconds so what do we mean by this we mean that for you to be able to find the coordinates of this a over here or location a over here for your latitude you will have 28 degrees 4 minutes and this over here it means is what is 5 it's 5 minutes and right here will be 6 6 minutes whereas on your latitude or rather on your lo longitude you'll have 24 degrees 50 minutes here it will be 24 degrees 51 minutes and right here it will be 24 degrees 50 two minutes so this means from here up until here it's only one one minute and we said one minute is equals to how much 60 seconds and from here as well is 50 and 51 meaning these blocks over here are divided into 60 seconds and that's what you use to find your coordinates now, say you were asked to write the coordinates for location A over there and B over there. The first thing you need to note is that when you write the coordinates, you need to first start with the latitude followed by your longitude, not forgetting direction. So for A, if I have to divide this into 60 seconds, I know in the middle I will have 30 30 seconds and in the middle of 30 seconds I'll first have 15 seconds over here and right just in the middle of another 30 I will have 45 seconds so the trick here is to try and divide the whole block into intervals of 5 seconds so I'll further put two marks over there and two marks over here 
over here and there just like that so my intervals will be in five seconds and remember this is a free hand meaning the spacing between the two or rather between the marks will not be as accurate as when you use a ruler because you don't have to use a ruler you just have to use your free hand so now that i have divided my blob into 60 seconds i can write my latitude coordinate so for a this will be remember we're following this numbers over there meaning i'll have 28 degrees zero four minute and when i count from here i'll have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and my location is just at 45 seconds meaning i'll take 45 seconds as my coordinate so now that i'm done with my latitude i can find or divide my block um, into seconds for my longitude so remember i'm gonna use the same procedure meaning at the middle i'll have my 30 and in the middle of 30 is my 15 and on the other side is 45 now i divide this into five seconds division i'll put two marks over there two marks over there two marks over there two marks over there and try to be accurate as possible from here i can write my longitude coordinate so this will be 24 degrees because of this line over here we're working within this block and 50 minutes and i have to count my seconds so this is 5 10 and when i look at my location it's right there at 10 seconds I mean i'm gonna take my 10 seconds as as my coordinate so now that you are done writing your coordinates you need to write direction i always tell my student that your coordinates consist of a name and a surname the name is the coordinate numbers and then the surname is your direction so for latitude when you are working with south african maps south africa is located on the south of equator and remember the equator is the zero degree line of latitude so we are located at the south of equator so always your latitude will, will be will be south and for your longitude south africa is located on the right hand side of the greenwich meridian which means we are we are in the eastern side of the greenwich meridian so your for your longitude your coordinates direction will always be east so the coordinates for this location over here it's 28 degrees for latitude 04 minutes 45 seconds south and longitude is 24 degrees 51 minutes um 10 seconds so they both have um coordinate numbers and direction so let's work through the coordinates for b we're going to do the same thing in the middle it's 30 and in the middle of 30 you have 15 and then 45 this side and then i have to try to divide this into intervals of five seconds i'm gonna two put mark two, uh, put two marks over there two marks over there two marks over there two marks over there remember all this you're doing it on the free hand and for longitude it's 30 there it's 
15 over there, 45 over there. I put two marks to divide into five in five seconds intervals. Two marks over there, two marks over there, two marks over there. So now I can write the coordinates for B. So for long for latitude, we have we still on this line over here. So this will be twenty eight degrees zero four minutes and for the seconds this will be five ten and as you look at location of b it's closer to to 10 seconds so i can take 10 seconds as my as my as my mark now we work on a longitude so for your longitude you're still on the 24 degrees square but now what changes is um the minutes you are now in the 51 minute square because you're now on this block over here and for your seconds you'll have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and if you look at the location of b it's closer to to 35 so I'll take 35 seconds as my coordinate so remember for direction it will always be south for latitude and east for your longitude and this is how you work on your maps to find coordinates using your free hand and their basics behind coordinates so let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and if you liked the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video